G'day guys, Glenn VK for NGA here. <coughs> Just want to show you on the ID4100 or any ICOM, any modern ICOM D Star radio, how to enter any reflector, particularly the X reflectors, into the memory. Now normally you would um, you would put it into the uh, reflector memory but you can only put RF reflectors in there so this way this method you can put any reflector in and you don't have to do it via software you can do it manually so from any place in the radio you just want to push the button up here doesn't matter where the radio is set and you want to go to DV memory there it is there press this fella and you got your call sign or repeater list so Go to your call sign, and there's all the reflectors in there. So you see here is the I've given it the name here. <coughs> this one is XLX299D, which is New Zealand DMR, and the command for it or the call sign is DCS299DL. So we want to add a reflector, so we come over to the quick menu, press that. And you've got add, edit, move, delete. So we go to add, press this. Gotta give it a name, so press that, and then we just rotate this to give it a name. So we're gonna put in an X reflector, so we'll X arrows here, so arrow across, get a L. Arrow across again, XL, X, we'll put in say, we'll put in 925, 925, and we'll call it XLX 925S. I'll come down to S and press it a couple of times for space and we'll call that UK <coughs> UK press it again for space uh, we'll call that we're just making this one up, so we'll call it UK DMR. They are across to go to the next field. Okay, so XLX 95S UK DMR, press that again and again, <coughs> so it's given it a name. Now the call sign, press that, so we want to call it uh, XLX reflectors. Uh, the command line or the call sign for those is DCS, so whatever the XLX is, it's replaced by DCS for the command, for the link command, so we go to D. DCS 925 uh, was S, wasn't it? So we'll go to S and then L, L on the end. So DCS 925 SL. Uh, so the L on the end is for link. So when you key up, it sends the command to your repeater or your hotspot to link to that reflector. Press that again, so the call sign's in, the name's in. 
and then just down to the bottom add right and yes and there it is it's in there now if you wanted to change the position of it you come in here and then come down to move and then no it didn't work try again do that and then you can move it around okay so I'll just back out of here again so from any position in the radio whether the radio is on digital or not just come up here you know, find DV memory press that your call sign that's where you should put them all under your call sign and uh, these are reflectors not repeaters so real call sign and there they all are there I've got about 40 odd in this radio it's an ID4100 but you can do it on uh, the ID 5100 the ID 51 handheld transceiver they all run the same sorts of, sort of menus so hopefully that was helpful to you Thanks for watching. This is VK4NGA.